This video shows smartphone slit lamp imaging, new innovation in ophthalmic imaging by Dr. Anshuman Goswami and Dr. John Dave Zakara. The authors have no financial interest in the presentation. So I will teach you how to take slit lamp photographs with your smartphone. Okay. So first open the camera, the regular camera app will do and bring the phone to the eyepiece of the slit lamp and keep it at a distance of 2 cm. Make sure that the flash is off and adjust so that you can see this sharp circle. So this is a blurred circle and this is also a blurred circle but if you come to the correct distance you get the sharp circle. If you look here you can see that this is the correct distance to hold the camera from the eyepiece to get that sharp circle. So once you get that circle you can zoom and touch to focus and take photographs. Now if you find it difficult to use the phone you can always use an adapter. So this adapter it has three knobs, one here which adjusts the position of the eyepiece holder, one here which adjusts the position of the phone holder and one here which holds the eyepiece. So I can take the phone and making sure that the buttons are not pressed, place the phone into the phone holder part and then tighten the phone holder knob until it is fixed securely. Then I can turn on the camera using the camera shortcut, adjust the position of the eyepiece holder part to the center of the camera. If the camera is off to the side, I can also turn and place it onto that side. Since this is in the center, I place this to the center and then place it onto the eyepiece and I can push back the eyepiece in some eyepieces. So I place it here and adjust so that it is fixed securely onto the eyepiece. Ask the patient to place the chin on the chin rest, turn on the slit now. Look at the patient's eyes through the slit now so that it is focused and then keep the adapter onto the slit lamp eyepiece. Pull it backward if it allows. Turn on the camera and then adjust the position of the phone so that it is centered in the circle of light. So now we see that it is not a complete circle of light. So I pull back till I get the complete circle of light. Now I can zoom a little bit and to take a 90D video, I use the lowest magnification and zoom and now I can see Let's see some of the videos and photos captured using this method. On the left you see a cataract with particles on the anterior capsule. On the right anterior segment is being examined and now a 90D is placed. On the left you see the 90D fundus photographs of the disc. On the left you see a cataract, a capsular cataract. Again you see it is a glaucom flecken cataract. On the left you see a decimate scrawl on the cornea, on the right you see the fundus, on the left you see the slit view of the cataract and the right is the fundus, left you see the PCI oil inside the capsular bag, you see a cauterized conjunctiva and you can see sutures under the conjunctiva temporal SICS, you can see posterior capsular falsification and the yak capsotomy done for that, yak capsotomy with pitting of the eye oil. And here you see zonules inferiorly, it's a subluxated lens. Here you see 
a caterpillar here on the left and corneal epithelial erosion uh, see a lens in slit view uh, you see a PCO you see a corneal staining of and hypopion you see a corneal foreign body on the right it is being viewed in red free filter you can see corneal uh, stromal opacities in the left you can see a nevus and you can see a posterior subcapsular cataract a central posterior subcapsular cataract again and here again yet another with posterior polar component here you can see gonioscopy video on the extreme left with gonioscopy photos taken on the right you can see a lid with the follicles you can see a gonioscopy with slit imaging thank you